Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows how you can add reflowable text frames with borders around them into an EPUB. I have several tutorials in Ubuntu Basics that show how to do things with EPUBs and in this particular one it's very much like adding pictures. I'm going to go to the top here and this is the title of the book as the cover. This is the tentative title of the book as text. Then I go down one more page and here I've showed this in the prior video how you can add pictures both to the left and the right surrounding text. To review real quickly this picture right here is anchored to the left and this of course is also anchored to the left and this picture is anchored to the left but it's told to be put on the right and then there's a half inch margin after the picture, a half inch margin before the picture. When you look at this on a full screen such as you are right now, everything is fine even if you increase or decrease the size of the text. The pictures stay correctly configured. However, if you are looking on a telephone, on your cell phone, there's not enough room for the picture, so I'm going to simulate that by making this ebook viewer half screen and see how it automatically reconfigures. In this case, the picture goes picture one, picture two, then text. I'll go down. And that kind of leads us into the next topic, which is how about if you put in some text and do it like that? Well, one way you can do it is to take a screenshot of some text and put it in as a picture. But the disadvantage of doing that is that when you increase the size of your font, that picture would not increase or decrease as you want to. So I'm going to go down. Here is a picture to the right. I go down. Here is a picture to the left. Go down. And now I've got some boxed text. This is called a frame. And I made it background color and I, I made it with a black frame around it. Now let me make the text just a little bit smaller yet and you can see that we've got a paragraph beginning Sue, So, Sarah. That's one, two, three. And if I go down in size it's, it stays configured no matter what size my uh, uh, text is. If I make the font larger and larger and larger, it still st stays in the same configuration and nothing ever gets lost. In this case, I've got an extremely large paragraph and the paragraph actually extends off of the page. So here is a, an aesthetic point for artists do not ever do this with an extremely large paragraph. Do this only with a paragraph that has a few words in it. And that way it will not go off page. Let me explain. I'm reading this paragraph, Sue. I, I finish this page and I go down. Now my eye goes, of course, immediately to the left and I'm reading the stuff in the red box. But it's not done yet. I have to go down to finish it. But then after I finish it, now I've got to go back up. You could get around this by making the font smaller and smaller. Go down. Now here it works, but see it only works on a certain size font. So for that reason, I suggest that whenever you do this, do this only with paragraphs that have a few words in them. If I were to now go half screen to simulate a telephone screen, you can see how this thing automatically reconfigures just like the picture did. Sue, so, Sarah. Go back to full size. I've got another one here as an example. Uh, I went down, and there's a picture on the right. Down. Here is a very small paragraph. It's in green with a black border around it. So I've got text, framed boxed text, text, and now a picture. This picture is anchored 
right here to the left. This box text is anchored right here to the left. The text, of course, is always anchored to the left. But the way it works is, is the box text precedes normal text, and then the picture is after that. If I go half screen, let's see what it looks like. Well, it kind of jumbles up a little bit. Let me make it smaller, smaller, see what it looks like. You have to fuss with it. I'm going to now tell you a wonderful thing. If you are having trouble with caliber, this has nothing to do with caliber. This is entirely all in your word processor instruction. Caliber just does what's already in there. I'm going to open up the caliber and show you what this looks like. I imported by adding, and that's what I added, and then that put in the ODT file. Then I hit convert, and it converted the ODT file and created the EPUB, and then when I tapped on that, that's the EPUB. And that's all Calibre does with this. The, the, all the intelligence is in the word processor file, and I am using LibreOffice Writer which creates this ODT file. Here is the ODT file and I am looking at it in terms of web. And when I, uh, let me get out of that, when I put it in web view that's different than when I'm, when I'm in print view. Let me go down, let me go down, and you can see how this boxed text looks. Well the boxed text frame is almost exactly like putting in a picture. I will show you this. First let me tap on the picture. I've got the frames all the way around it. You can see a little green box there, one in the center, and, and so on. And then when I right click, I go to picture. Now remember I'm in the picture. Now the wrap is optimal, half inch to the left, type. I got 4 inch by 3 inch and I'm anchoring it to the to the right and the top. Well that's the picture. So let me go to the frame and uh, first I gotta get the little green dealies. There they are. And you can see it's anchored to the left. Right click now instead of saying picture, it shows frame. So I'm going to go to the frame. And it's almost identical. Here I told it background color to use this color. I could use any color. Let me grab another color. Okay. And then I go wrap. Same thing. I am going half inch to the right before putting text to the right of the picture. And then in type. Uh, now here I... I started off at four inches but I wanted it to be relative. So I had four inches by two inches at least and auto size. It's left and top just like the picture. Everything is to the paragraph. Now on the border I told it to put a border around all the way and I used this style and I made a very very fat border five points just to show it on screen and I said leave a little bit of space that's automatic you know what you can if you want to remove one of these things let's see what it looks like if you look at uh, OMG Ubuntu website uh, the fellow Mr. Snedden Elijah Snedden he uses this technique a lot and uh, I'm, I'm looking at uh, OMG Ubuntu on my phone and uh, he, puts a, he puts a straight line in red on the side of his. Let's see if that works. I'm hoping it'll work. Uh, Control S. I'm saving it. And after I save it, I'm going to go back to Calibre. diminish, go to caliber. Now I'm going to take the old one out so I highlight it, delete key, right arrow, enter, it's gone, add, put it back in again now because you know I saved it with the 
different kind of border. Takes a minute. This is an extremely long file. I think I got eight, nine megabytes or something. No, it's not that big. Uh, convert. OK. Now this is what's going to take some time. Now you see this thing turning. It's uh, it's uh, converting, and this OD file when it is done will be accompanied by the EPUB and then I'm going to open up the EPUB and see what it looks like. Meanwhile while it's working let me go to the old EPUB and I'm going to close it out entirely and there I've got nothing in my ebook viewer. Uh, I don't want to confuse myself because you know you can have two three four ebook viewers open and you say gee I just changed that what's going on well you're looking at the old one instead of the new one I've done that before it's still running folks this is a very long process because I have an extremely large file after I'm done with this I'm going to show you how to add a frame and do this to a frame and make one from the get-go I did not realize this thing would take so long there we go finally now I tap EPUB once and it's going to open up in the viewer. It opened up half screen. Let me go full screen. Control Alt and, and then on my 10 key I hit 5 which is in the center. Right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow. Ah, look what happened. I didn't get, I didn't get the border. I don't know what happened. You'll have to fuss with it in that regard. But, even though I don't have the border, I can make the text bigger. It looks nice. Let me close this now. And let me uh, diminish caliber. And I'm going to go back to my LibreOffice Writer ODT file. See, I don't know why this didn't show up. Did I forget to save it? I don't know. Anyway, that's not showing. Uh, and there's some reason for that. It showed all four corners, but it didn't show this one. I am now going to demonstrate towards the end of this video here how you can put in one single um, paragraph like that. And I got to find a, a place where I want to do this. Uh, right here, I'm going to add in uh, a frame. So I'm going to hit enter. I go up and then I go backspace and now I'm going to go insert frame. And it has a default size but you know what I want to go for four inches and I want it at least that big I guess. I'll go relative and then I'm going to go left and top and it's paragraph now wrap I want to go optimal and I want to go a uh, half inch text to the right nothing nothing background color let's make it yellow okay Ooh, that's an ugly yellow that's what I am going to have as the kind of grid for whatever text I put in there so I'm going to take this paragraph hold down the shift key down arrow down arrow go to the end control X put my cursor in here control V and there it is let's save it control S diminish let's go back to caliber delete key right arrow enter start over add highlight open it's bringing it in now as an ODT file 
the LibreOffice Writer word processor files are their, their last name is ODT convert it's turning it into an EPUB when I hit OK and now it's going to turn it into an EPUB now you can do this all day long rather easily and make a beautiful EPUB you can make it garish too I am going to demonstrate that yellow box and that will be the end of this video tutorial in Ubuntu basics my name is Pop and I have made over 200 video tutorials for YouTube called Ubuntu basics but not everything's about Ubuntu necessarily this is I'm kind of on a jag right here for making EPUBs and um, I enjoy making these videos it's a hobby and if you would like to see something done let me know and I will try to do that for you I'm just filling this in with uh, speech until this thing finishes this is an extremely lengthy process because this has got a lot of pictures I think there are I don't know maybe a hundred pictures more than a hundred pictures in this EPUB I got carried away and the more pictures that you put in the larger the size is you can see for ex example this is a much much longer work with no pictures and it's half of a megabyte this is five megabytes let me open up the EPUB now and see what we got full screen control alt 5 right arrow right arrow right arrow right arrow right arrow right arrow and then the one we just put in it's going to be down here someplace there it is now you'll see the space below well the space below means that if I go right arrow one more page down there's a picture and there was not enough room for that picture and that's how EPUBs work if I make the text smaller it's it still does not have enough room for the picture so if, as I make the text progressively smaller uh, it still doesn't have enough room and it still leaves enough room down there for a picture when you go to the next page and this this works really great and uh, I'm real happy with it it's all in LibreOffice Writer it's not in Caliber my name is Pop and I thank you very much